this is Megan with Little Gray Squirrel and I just got the LG Ultra Wide LED LCD monitor. It's the 34 inch wide curved monitor. Uh, I'm pretty excited to get this. It's, it's pretty cool. Uh, so I'm going to show you what came in the box and how to set it up and what it looks like already. Okay, so I had already opened the box. And there's a piece of styrofoam on top with uh, the box of cables. And I will show you what's in there. Okay, so these are, this is what came in the box. We have the uh, warranty information, the product register information, uh, a very small <laughs> uh, little book of photos of how to put it together, a CD of the owner's manual, and you can also download it online. And then the cables, we have the HDMI cable, we have the, the power brick and the rest of the cord. And then this is really cool. This is the USB type C connector. And one of the reasons why he got this for me, other than so here's my current monitor, uh, is so that I have a PC, but I also use a Mac for editing videos. So I can plug my laptop. Where's my MacBook? So I can plug my laptop into the monitor for editing videos and when I work on that. So it'll, yeah, pretty excited to see this all together. So uh, here's the base of the stand. And I'll show you the rest of the stuff in the box here. So here's the box. This is the rest of the stand. We have this part here, which I will open up. And then I have the monitor in there. So I'm gonna use both hands to take them out and get it put together. All right, so I got the everything unpackaged. Uh, first thing I need to do is to disconnect my current monitor. And that's actually the easiest way to set up your next monitor because you'll just plug the new cables in to where the old ones were. So I'm gonna make sure everything is powered off and start putting things together. Uh, so this is the power connector. So we'll plug this in here. So in unplugging the monitor, just unplug it and then make sure that the cables not tangled up any other cables so when I remove the monitor it comes out easily and then on the back of my CPU I will remove the HDMI cable and then just that's where the new one's gonna go in so just unplug that and make sure that's free hanging as well I have removed my old monitor I connected my power a brick and cable my HDMI cable here ready uh, the nothing is plugged in yet. It's still here waiting. Uh, now I'm going to put the the stand parts together and mount them to the back of the monitor. So it's a good idea to take a look at you know where all the the parts are here that you need. So I'm going to put it into the HDMI one, and then the power is going to go into this DC in. Something pretty cool about this monitor is that you don't need any tools to put it together. The base of the monitor has the screw and has a square part so this fits right in here and I'm gonna tighten that in with my fingers Just tighten that down press into place then we'll turn this over Here's a stand that's gonna snap onto the back there. So all I had to do was lift up the monitor, set it down on the, the two parts here, and just set it down and snap it in place. So this little uh, button here, if you wanted to unlatch it, you just push it down and look the monitor away and it'll, it'll come off. I'll, let's put it on the desk. I got the monitor put up on my desk and that thing is huge. 
so it took me a few minutes, but I, I had to figure out how to adjust the stand. I couldn't quite see how to do that, but let me show you. So this, this part down here, this has the weight of the monitor. We'll hold it in place. So all you have to do, you actually, if you push on this part here, you can lower and raise, raise the monitor really easily. Grasping both sides, just, um, you can push back with your hands and that'll change the angle of the monitor. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so that's, that's a little more normal. <laughs> All right, so now let's plug in the cables while we're back here. So we have like our HDMI cable and I had already looked at it, so I was gonna plug it in the top one. And then I have my power, which is not plugged in yet. I'm gonna plug this in first. snug. And I'm going to put the cables behind and plug them in down below. Okay, so the HDMI cable, HDMI cable is here, drop that down. Plug that right back into where it was. And then now I can put, I have my power set up here. I can plug this back in. And I can move my computer back in place. the monitor all the way back to the wall. When you're moving it, you want to make sure that you don't grab the uh, the screen too much. Try to move, you know, support it from the screen and the stand. And then you don't want to use this part here because it's going to adjust really easily um, and move around on you. So get that put in where you want it. And let's turn on our computer. And I saw the monitor already had some power because it said no signal. Uh, you can go ahead and remove the protective layers if you want. And we'll let this boot up. So I know I have a lot of icons on my screen. That may have been part of why my husband felt bad and wanted to get me the bigger one, but uh, I do need to organize those. So if you can see, um, it's it's uh, the icons are skewed a little bit because the resolution of this and the size of the screen isn't set up for this monitor. So. As soon as the computer is through booting up, I'm going to go in and change the settings. Okay, so with the, the LG monitor, if you get a notification on the screen uh, like I did, well, you will get one when you first set it up uh, to tell you to change your resolution or to approve if you want to uh, set up another monitor. Um, your mouse isn't going to work um, on that notification that you'll get. I'll show a picture here in a second. So what you want to do is the there's a button right in the center of the screen. There's an LG, and right under that is this little toggle switch. So you can toggle it to the right or the left, and then you can push it to select. So here, if you if you toggle it as it is with nothing there, it's going to change the volume. You can push it to turn on, and this is going to go to settings and then you're going to use the toggle to go down or up, up, up. So this is how you toggle through things. So I went to the right and toggle down. If I'm pushing towards me, it's going to go down through the settings and then you can choose these. So 
because now I don't want to mess with the stuff. So, anyhow, uh, that might help a little bit in figuring out how to uh, handle the settings on your on your monitor. So I just changed the resolution of my screen uh, from 1920 by 1080 to 3440 by 1440, which is the recommended resolution for this monitor. Uh, I did that by going into settings and then under system for uh, display, sound notifications, and power, uh, it was uh, opened up to display and under scale and layout, I chose the resolution drop down. Uh, which was currently at 1920 by 1080, and then I selected the 3440 by 1440, and it said recommended right next to it, so it was really easy. Just click on that, and then it gave me a uh, option to confirm it, and here we are. So now look at all that space I have. So I'm gonna open up uh, Silhouette Studio and see what it looks like. Look at that. Oh my goodness. So I still have my design area and all that. Oh my goodness. That's pretty amazing. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm gonna play with my new monitor, try it out, and then uh, later I'll try out the, the USB-C and see how it goes with uh, pairing my, my MacBook up to it. Uh, don't be scared to go ahead and get a new monitor, install it yourself. Uh, the whole process took me about 45 minutes. Uh, it should probably only take you about 30, especially learning how to adjust the monitor. Uh, that part kind of freaked me out when I first put it on the desk because it was huge uh, and kind of pointed up weird. So everything worked out really well and now I have this great new monitor. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos where we have fun and make stuff. Also, follow Little Gray Squirrel on Pinterest and on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to see what's new.